All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess I'll go with Sayori now. This is a good poem, Crazy. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. I, I feel like I'm like switching back and forth between two different voices for Sayori. I'm like, I'm trying to make it slightly higher pitched than Monica's to like distinguish the two. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Crazy. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks, Sayori. <laughs> Double clicked there. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. I mean, I got the cupcakes, why am I still here? <laughs> then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Eh. <laughs> We'll see about that. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Very relatable. Definitely relate to that, especially that last one. Man, don't you always want breakfast? Sayori, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! J j just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Y yes, you can. <laughs> I, I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about blah 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 blah. I'm not even gonna bother correcting myself there. Don't be mean! I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> Definitely the breakfast. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Yeah. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing then. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Eee. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever! Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright, who's next on the chopping block? Let's go with... let's go with Yuri. Dot dot dot. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Um... D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Ooh... He's gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh, that's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> oh, oh, that's Yuri. Ah! Yuri takes a breath, and I take a sip of water. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Oh, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Dot dot dot. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... 
Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. <laughs> it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it doesn't get derailed. It's as if her demeanor totally changes. I'm not gonna stop with the train of thought derail puns. <laughs> I don't care how much you're groaning back there, I can hear you groaning. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you could be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, 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 well... Never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Alright, what do we got here? Ghost Under the Light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm... What? Is that a comma? I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. Oh, it's a semicolon. Okay. The light flickers. I flicker back. I... I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, that's because I'm a slow reader. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's the relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I've wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to... to uh, blah, 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 blah. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost fury? <laughs> I, I love I love the hoo hoo thing. Hoo hoo! I'm an owl. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, crazy. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. It's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Crazy. Ah, me too. I'm gonna keep doing the best for me too. Who should I show my poem to next? Gee, I wonder. Dot dot dot. Crazy, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh? 
What, you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer! <laughs> Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Damn, Natsuki, okay. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. <laughs> Let's see. Well, gotta really prepare myself and get into this one. Whew. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? What? <laughs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I can understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, they're 18 actually. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. What are you talking about, dude? You got compliments from all, everyone except Natsuki. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. Gee, are you sure about that? You only said it like ten times. <laughs> I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyes furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. That's clearly a sad smile right there. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Uh, did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I, I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. Crazy did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Crazy liked my poem too, you know. 
He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. That, that, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Aw oh, shit, it's about to go down. Maybe you're just jealous that Crazy appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Yeah, that's, that's not what that says. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Crazy started showing up. Well, okay. <laughs> the, the, the Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... That This doesn't involve you. I'm not going to do two voices at once there. <laughs> I, I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Crazy! Sh she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, crazy! Don't call me crazy, I'm not... Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language! It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary... Oh, bump the mic there. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary... <laughs> yes, I love words so much, that's why I sputter all the time. Shit. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Crazy? No. Well, <laughs> again, both of them. Dot, dot, dot. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be... Okay. So, if I was in the actually in this situation, I would just like go to the corner and cry. Because I don't want to fucking pick sides here. I would normally say, help me, Sayori. Like, even if I'm not on Sayori's route, I'm just like... Uh, Sayori, you solve everything. Um, but I guess for the sake of this video, I'll go with Yuri. Natsuki? You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Thank you! <laughs> Take this quote and frame it! Some people should learn from that. Th that's not what happened at all! Yuri wouldn't even take my poems seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri. Eh? <laughs> You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. But, well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I... I see. I didn't notice that I... I I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well. If you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. This is why I don't like picking this, but I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. I guess maybe someone out there wants to see it. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Yeah, same, bro! Um... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to... You know what? 
I'm gonna do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Damn, dude. Natsuki! She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. I'm saying the word sigh. Everything all right? No. I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri! How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Crazy. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Or it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So... Eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Yeah, just go with that. Line! Um, well, never mind that. I I'm gonna go make some tea. Good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. I mean, why wouldn't she? <laughs> okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. <laughs> Natsuki came back, I see. We didn't write that part into the script. Crazy, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Dot dot dot. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Crazy! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Eh. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while. Thank you, iPhone, for, <laughs> for going off when I said Sayori. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier. What do you mean? The fucking fight, dude. You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Crazy, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun! Sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Where are those fucking cupcakes? Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this next episode! Thank you guys for watching Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm gonna go ahead and save here because next episode I'm gonna go on a different route. I'll let you guys know when when that happens, but in the meantime, thank you guys for watching Doki Doki Literature Club. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>